I can't make this shit up. 11-11. Sorry for my hair. It is a mess. What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Trinity. I'm back with another freaking video. Today, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading completely random. I didn't even know that I was going to do this type of tarot reading today. I was just going to go ahead and do a collective reading. But Spirit was like, stop doing what's easy, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a pick a card reading on how to start your healing journey or the things you need to focus on in order to begin to heal. So I don't have a photo of each pile um, or even like a video clip because it was so random. I just went straight into it, pile one, two, and three, but there will be three piles. I will go ahead and link the timestamps in the description below as well as like with a little emoji just for like visual reference. You can do your meditation that way and choose your pile. Anyways, let's jump right into this. I hope this resonates and helps you guys. How do they begin their healing process? How does pile number one begin their healing process? So we have heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Autumn, release the old and rest. Guardian angel, you are not alone. How does pile number one need to begin their healing process? How do they start their healing process? How do they start their healing process? The balance card flipped over. So maybe finding balance in your life. Whoa. How does pile number one begin their healing journey? Do some research on opening your research. <laughs> do some research on opening your third eye chakra. There's meditation for that. You can do yoga. There is stone healing, I believe, for that. There is just a plethora of information out there. Definitely check into that. I feel like your heart, you need to guard your heart or your spirit guides are guarding you. Throat chakra. Work on that too. You might need to start speaking of how you feel. Stand your ground. You're coming into a place of authority or you're being called to a place of authority. Okay. I don't know why, but for pile number one, I'm feeling like uh, you might be being called to an awakening. There's a lot of chakra energy here. Um, number five, the number five normally represents change. Um, so there is going to be a big change for you here soon. Um, this could indicate a time frame, this card here. So maybe in the autumn, you'll come into this change or you'll be going through the, the, the core or the meat of this change, so to speak. But let's go ahead and read. We have heart guardian here. Hopefully you all can hear me. I have my doors and windows open right now. It says, love and let yourself be loved. Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love. The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. You are love, lovable and loving. The energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swelling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you are finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that will allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air, so receive it. 
receive it. Be mindful, still protect your heart, not in an unhealthy way where you're not, sorry, my hair is a mess, <laughs> not in an unhealthy way where you're not being open or you're, you know, you're just overly guarding it to the point where you're not even open to a uh, new love or, or whatever it is but definitely be open to it okay so autumn release all of the pressure and expectation weighing you down shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal what did i say i feel like this is uh, you're being called into an awakening something brand new i feel like you are about to be changed into a completely new person don't be afraid because this is a good change like you will not even recognize yourself by the time this is over which is beautiful all that old shit release the old and rest start that healing process okay um okay so it says you know what is heavy, what is holding you back. Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn, it's time to let it go. When you hold on, take the fucking trash out. <laughs> when you hold on, you try to control reality and that never works. When you let go, you make space for the new to enter your life. You are being guided by your angels and nature herself to release whatever is stopping you from moving forward. And you can do this. So guardian angel, you are not alone. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember they are working hard to guide you. The guardian angel card shows the white feather that has become known as the guardian angels business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life and or this card appears in a reading, it's a message to say your guardian it's a message to say your guardian angel and ancestor guides are particularly close at this time and are there to support you with their love. If you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that there is divine intervention in the works. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lives and will be there in all their lives to come. So know that you are never alone and will never be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Yeah, so release. You need to release all those past childhood traumas, all that trauma from those relationships, release it. And then for the tarot, release any uh, bondages that you have, release any addictions that you might have, pile one. Start embarking on the journey that you were meant to be here for I have a feeling that a lot of you know what you're really supposed to be doing so get to it because like I said in my IG stories and in and, and my snapchat like time is precious your time is precious honey okay so that is all I have for pile number one I love you all and I will speak to you all in my next video bye transmission messages for pile number two how do they start their healing process Use me as a vessel of love and light to transmute the messages for, for pile number two. How do they start their healing process? Grow within your current situation, wise one. How do they start their healing process? How does pile number two start their healing process? How does pile number two start their healing process? Oh, I thought I was gonna have to pull some cards, but no. Stag, trust and thrive. Water guardian, connect with your emotions. It's like water energy here. So you could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm not a a uh, science expert or anything but that's the energy I'm picking up here and then you have uh, that bottom energy night be brave and honest how 
How do they start their healing process? We just had a chakra card fly out. Ooh. Pile number one had two chakra cards, the throat chakra and the third eye chakra as well. So the one that flipped out here is the heart chakra. I feel like you need to focus on yourself. Your inner wounds, I'm hearing. Let's get another oracle card in here. Woo! Oh, two oracle cards. Okay, pile number two. Victory and success. An emotional loss I don't know why I feel like there might be an emotional tower moment coming you're stepping into your destiny or you will be if you make yeah transformation there's a transformation here for you as well pile number one was very similar let's get into the angels and ancestors Oracle with the wise one grow within your current situation I feel like you might be stagnant at the moment I know this does not mean stagnant, but stag, I'm just saying, or am I staying, am, am I staying? I don't know, am I saying that right? But anyways, wise one, growth in your current situation, you might be feeling um, stagnant at the moment or you're being asked to be in the moment, live in the moment, in the present. Um, meditation helps with that. I know that when I first started my journey, I had a hard time meditating, but the thing that helped me the most was yoga. It really helped, so try yoga. That'll also align your chakras. So wise one, grow within your current situation. Knuckle down, be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your elders. The wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking, commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you are being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. Living in the moment. Um, be committed to your tasks and projects. It can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. You are being reminded of how it feels to let, be let down and experience unreliability, and that is not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. I feel like that is how you start your, this is how you're going to start your healing process by learning to be in the present moment. I don't know why I'm just feeling like you might be a very anxious person. You might um, experience anxiety or panic attacks. I'm here to tell you meditation is probably one of the best things that I've done. Um, you can also try what I would do when I started feeling anxiety. I would go outside and start naming off the things that I would see. Oh, I see the tree. I see this bird. And be specific. If you need to like uh, describe the fucking tree you're looking at to yourself and say it out loud. I don't care how crazy it looks. Get, go outside and start naming off the things that you see in front of you. And take deep, meaningful breaths. Yoga, y'all. Yoga. Stag. Trust and thrive. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory with grace and majesty. Be who you are. Be transparent. And don't apologize for being you. That's how you attract real people. That's how you attract the real ones. Is by being yourself. Okay? You have an opportunity to thrive. Trust in all that you have to offer. All your gifts, strength, and power. And make the most of it. You are born to lead. And this can only become reality when you are willing to put yourself in this position. Stag energy allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere with your intelligence and presence. And their strength gives you the power to be agile in your thinking. You are being encouraged to retain your dignity and be proud of who you are and all that you've accomplished. This in turn will give you even more power to thrive onwards and upwards. No way but up from here. Connect with your emotions. Take time to understand how you really feel. Know that your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift that allows you to receive and understand messages directly from your soul. So yeah, you, might, you could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay? 
Your angels want you to know that it's okay to feel the emotions that are surfacing in you at this time. It doesn't matter if they are joyous or sad. They are all powerful messengers that allow you to understand what you want and need. Taking time to breathe and acknowledge them lets them flow through you rather than crashing down on you as an overwhelming wave. Note that there are also intuitive psychic messages arising in you at this time and unless you acknowledge everything as it comes up, you may miss important guidance that can lead you to support and love. Some of you have experienced some emotional loss, some sort of emotional change in your life recently, I feel like. Um, listen to those emotions that come up i advise getting like a uh journal for yourself or even a voice i would say writing because writing is therapeutic get yourself a journal and when you feel those emotions just start writing write at the top of the page how you're feeling in that moment and if you don't know then just start fucking writing whatever comes to mind how you're feeling in that moment okay and it's very therapeutic um Start celebrating the, the little victories and successes that you have in your life while you're in your moment. See how you can work on your heart chakra, okay? Go do some research on that. And then, I, and then here's the tarot card that was picked, the Nine of Pentacles. You've created some sort of abundance for yourself or you're going to. And just enjoy the fruits of your labor right now. And I also feel like this card is asking you to get out into nature Listen to the birds sing. Okay? That is all I have for you, pile number one. That is how you're going to heal. Take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't. Okay? I love you all. I'm sending love, light, and positivity your way. Have a beautiful and blessed day. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. How does pile number three start their healing process? How does pile number three start their healing process? How does pile number three start their healing process? Whoa. We have shed old skin. Ooh. How does pile number three start their healing process? How does pile number three start their healing process? <laughs> How does pile number three start their healing process? Whoa. How does pile number three start their healing process? Whoa. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. I I'm hearing become one with yourself. And then earth mother, feel loved and comforted. Know that you're being protected. Summer, bask in joy and light. This could be a time frame of something um, that you've been waiting on. But right now, you're, I feel like you're being asked to see the beauty in, the, in a situation. You're asked to look far beyond what's happening in the moment and see the good in it. See the potential of what's going on right now. Yeah, you're not alone. You're being protected by love. Okay. Memories of love. So maybe you're being asked to release memories because <clears throat> if you look at the card or maybe recall up on memories, heart chakra. Yep. Recall up on on the memories of good love experiences that you've had, whether that's in relationships or, um, or um, mental conflict is on the bottom half of this. I feel like s there's a few select of you that may be going through um, a mental health crisis. Maybe you've just found out you might, you may have been just diagnosed with some sort of mental illness or you're just literally having a mental conflict. You're having an inner battle about what, take that as it resonates, I'm not exactly sure. But just know that you're being protected from a, a, a loving spirit. Like you, there's a lot of green happening here. And for me, I feel like that's emotions, that's love. Like you're, you're being protected for sure. Yeah. 
I feel like you're being asked to let go. Even though this is memories of love, I feel like you're being asked to let go of some things emotionally, um, some things that you've held on to, some things that you may have suppressed. Um, you're being asked to bring those up, feel that emotion, and release it. And remember the good memories that you have of love. Because something tells me you've experienced with a mother. I don't know why. I feel like you're a mother figure or a mother or there is a woman in your life or there have been a few people in your life that you have really experienced true, genuine love or care, whatever. It all goes into one. But call upon those memories now to help you through this time. Um, you're being asked to shed old skin. Release. Trust your instincts in every move that you're making. Let's go ahead and read the cards. So we have snake up first, which is shed old skin. Cast off the old. Reveal your true colors, talents, and gifts to the world. Be yourself. The energy of renewal is washing over your life at this time. If for some reason you feel that your true self hasn't been recognized or you've been misread by others, know this energy is now leaving you. As you've been working through your old stories and all the self-limiting beliefs that you've accumulated along the way, you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting, limiting? <laughs> you've been peeling away a shield of skin that has created limiting experiences. Your own personal commitment to growth has been recognized and now the external world will begin to reflect all of the work that you've been doing within. If you feel someone you love has misunderstood you recently, they will be able to see beyond that if you're willing to recognize your own challenges. This is a time for renewal, abundance, and connection. Let yourself be reborn. Re reborn. Let yourself be reborn and celebrated. Trust your instincts. Trust the powerful animal spirit within to learn more about yourself and your talents. You have a powerful animal within that can be wild, protective, instinctive, and even calm. Animals don't second guess how they feel, they just express it, and you can learn from that. When this card arises, it's important to connect with how you really feel, how you want to feel, and what you really need. Take the time to connect with your animal energy and express it naturally. Let even the fiercest energy move through you before returning to your natural state. It will teach you a lot about your gifts and how you can grow. So take that as it resonates. And then Earth Mother. She's one of the first girls in the deck, honey. She's the second, uh, the second one. The second uh, card in the deck. Earth Mother, feel loved and comforted. Allow yourself to be cherished. Earth Mother is protecting you with a shield of love and light. You may have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently, but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness. If you have felt ungrounded, know that Mother Earth is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength. You may not feel like a child, but in the eyes of the divine, you are a child of light. And it's important you know, it's important you know that and feel loved. If you have had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself, know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection. You are being guided to make choices that are based on love. Which is why it's so important for you to release those negative memories that you're having, release those negative emotions that you might be having. And so your tarot that I've pulled the eight of cups <clears throat> walking away walking away into something better walk away from those negative emotions walk away from that old life all right that is all i have for pile number three thank you so much for watching i hope that this resonated with you sending love light and positivity your way have a beautiful and blessed day and i will see you all in my next video bye